Hey everyone, as you can see RenderWow has changed their whole website and that's because they've officially launched and with their official release they've actually implemented a new feature which is distributed rendering and for all of you who don't know what distributed rendering is it allows you to render your renders quicker and more efficiently so with RenderWow they've actually allowed you to use two to five servers and each of those servers have 16 threads to render your render so you're actually allowed to render one scene with 80 threads now that's actually incredible it's actually going to be fast and efficient for your work so it'll save you time and just in case you actually need more threads and more servers to render please contact customer service because they'll actually allow you to use more servers and more threads if need be. So in this tutorial I'll be using a house that I've brought in from the warehouse as well as a car and I've already set all my scenes and it's going to be the same process like we did in the last tutorial so we're going to go into output and save it to your desktop we'll name it one two three four five six There we go. And go into your extensions. Now, if you want to just distribute render one scene, use only distributed render. But if you want to render all your scenes that is in your work file, please click the distributed render all pages. Now, you're going to be able to choose from a number of servers from two to five. And obviously, it's going to cost a little bit more, but it does save you time. So I'll be using five servers to render and always be sure to save your work before using the render client. So always save. Click OK. To your desktop. And there we go. Now it's going to sh show you that it's exporting the scene and it's going to you're going to have to wait. Now I've already signed in, so always be sure that you're signed in before using your other uh, before using the render while feature because um, it's always safe to sign in before uploading any of your scenes that you want to render. So as you can see, it's actually much more efficient. As you can see, you could render multiple scenes at once and it's uploading quicker. And you're gonna be able to actually view your screenshot of the progress that's going on. And since I do have seven scenes, it's gonna take a while, but it shouldn't be too long. There we go, one's already completed and it's gonna show up onto my desktop. And there you have it. So that's the first scene. So when you're doing this, multiple scenes will render at the same time. And I've already done actually a couple before. And as you can see, it does come out really, really well. Uh, just depends on your settings and your materials. But this was just brought in from the warehouse. And as you can see, it came out exceptionally well. And there you have it. So thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next tutorial. And if you do have any questions, feel free to shoot an email and we'll always get back to you. Thanks.